everybody. My name is Maria Shiweda. I am Maria the Prophet. Sometime this year, I've submitted a video testimony to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. In this journey, I have walked into churches, like just walking into a church, just because it has reached that point. There was a church I walked into and uh, the pastor took the microphone off my hands and I didn't know this. God came to explain things later also sometime this year. So if you have heard me in the previous video, uh, you hear me saying there was war on the ground when I came uh, from my assignment last year. There were like actually three wars on the ground. But the, there was war on the ground, the war on resurrection that I talked about. So now this is the event that is linked to that. So I walked into this church uh, and I, I went to that church a few times. And what the pastor did secretly was taking off my microphone from my hand. People, I didn't know I had a microphone in my hand. That I didn't know. They keep telling me to sing, but I could never sing to save my life. Singing, I could not sing. My voice could not leave my chest to pass my throat and get out of my mouth. I couldn't do that. When I went to church, I whispered. When people sing, I whispered. And even whispering was so hard for me. So I, I just had to move the lips. That was it. But the lines of the songs were usually just recorded within me. And about three times, a, three to four times a year, I'll find myself singing. And this is now the strange thing about it. It would be like I'll be alone, number one. I'll be at that place for like almost the whole day. And then I'll be just singing, singing on top of my lounge. That's what I know of myself. When Maria wants to sing, I don't have the voice. The voice doesn't leave my chest. That's the Maria I know. So now you get all these people telling me to sing. And I couldn't understand, but my singing is the, is the biggest weapon I have, like... You know, when the Synagogue Church of All Nations tells me my singing is more than the prayer they can give to me or any other pastor out there. When I, 2017, I found a clip on Easter. If I sing with them, I don't have any attacks. I sing, I'm in this harmony that I cannot really explain. A new person, 2021, I called into prayer. It was sometime this year, like just February, March. Uh, I called in for prayer. Um... On a Sunday, I got connected to man of God right away. So when I got connected to Prophet TV Joshua, I, I, I got slumped. In, I just got slumped into some deep sleep. It, it wasn't for too long. And right then, the environment changed. I am with Prophet TB Joshua and we went all the way to the south of the United States. And he forced a pastor to give me back my microphone. People, I didn't even know I had a microphone. I, I have had it before. Somebody called me about this microphone. I needed to snatch it back from the pastor. When the person was talking, I knew the pastor he was talking about. That I needed to get the microphone back from him. But the person who is calling me also had a plan. He had a plan to give my microphone to somebody else. So if I could snatch it from the pastor right there, then... It was not the right time. It would it it was not the right time. It would have been given to somebody else. Their plan could have gone through. Now, fast forward now to 2021. Uh, then when we went, we went to that pastor and uh, he forced him to give me back my microphone. People, I have seen Prophet TB Joshua fighting for me. I, I was so shocked. People, I was so shocked. I got up. I said I have to write a, a testimony, not just write, I had to record so that they can hear it from my own mouth because writing, maybe somebody else wrote that email, maybe not me. Uh, me I, I wanted to record it so that they see it themselves. I did, I wanted to do it immediately, so that I did. I, I just remember this. All I needed to record was to put in the part that he forced the pastor to give me back my microphone and I now have my microphone for singing. That was all I, I needed to put, I, I wanted to put in that uh, in that video. But th I was so joyful, so I, I started singing uh, like the songs I used to just sing around the house. Then I was like, oh, maybe I can show them that I can actually sing now. That was my testimony because all my life I didn't know I could sing. Now from just random singing, now I, I was recording myself to sing uh, so that they can see proof that this is the actual person recording 
and and it's proof that I can actually sing. I remember it took me all day to just do that. I sang two songs in my own language and I sang one uh, that is composed by Prophet T.V. Joshua. That was it. People, that night, that was the night I was in the Milky Way. All night, I was planet to planet. I was inside the Milky Way. So when I'm seeing radiation, I'm seeing something tangible, tangible that I can touch with my own hands like this. I'm seeing something tangible and I'm seeing all the other planets. So small. They're so small. This this planet Earth is something so small. I was in the Milky Way. All these stars that you see in the sky, they are so little. The whole planet Earth, this thing is so little. It appeared so little. All these Jupiters, all those planets, they appeared so small and i was there planet to planet and they look like uh they looked like they were the size of a, a golf ball like that and some were even smaller way way smaller it's darkish it's a ram that is darkish uh, but i get to see things were just small this planet earth it's so vast it's so big like this it's the size of the golf ball and all this Jupiter that we are saying, this is a big planet. That thing appeared so small. And, and, and there are many planets too. It, it, it's not few. There are many planets. But people, I got that privilege just by singing. I still remember that I sang the whole day. First, I was just singing for the sake of singing. But then I sang and then I found myself recording myself. Then I... I realized I needed to give the example of what I was talking about to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. I remember the joy in my heart when I gave that testimony. It's, 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 it's a joy that you have never seen before. I have gotten this kind of joy a few times in my life, very few times in my life, and I'm counting my one hand. That was the joy I had when I, I was recording this testimony, when I... Um, uh, when I was singing these songs to submit to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, that was the joy in my heart. And I ended up in the Milky Way. That's how I got there. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you so that it, it will help you in the next video that I'll be posting on Josh Bezos. Thanks again for watching. My name is Maria Shiweta. I am Maria the Prophet.